fight, fight. That was our only option. We had a disagreement, we fought. We jumped people, so much violence. I never, never was a second thought. If you're close enough where I can put my hands on you, I'm hitting you in your mouth. That's just how I was. I got a little brother, he bad too, <laughs> he bad too, and I, we was always being physical, you know, we fight, that's what we do, you know, that, I didn't know that my words have power, Miss Porter taught me this, through assertiveness, she taught me this, so now I'm able to go back and tell my, hey sailor bro, this is what I want you to do, instead of putting your hands on, just go up and say, hey I don't like it when you call me that. Next time, just call me my name and come back and tell me what happened. <laughs> now, of course, to my little brother, he say, I'm not doing that. That make me look weak. <laughs> I say, if you look at it like that, it does. But what type of weak person stand up and use his voice? He thought, well, he stepped back, thought about it. I said, only somebody who's weak wouldn't open their mouth at all. So I say it actually makes you strong just to go out there and say it. Don't even get physical. I said, look, bro, this what this go back, just go try and come back and tell me. I left him with that. Now I ain't gonna lie, I must admit, y'all, I don't know what was gonna happen. <laughs> I just knew the next day my daddy was gonna call him, boy, your brother done fought. But can you believe my brother get off the bus with his backpack, the biggest Shamal level? D. I say, what's up, little bro? He say, I did it. He say, I did it. I say, what you mean? He say, I went up to him. I said, bro, I don't like it when you call me that. He used to call me Marquise. I say, what happened? He looked at me and said, all right. <laughs> I said, so what you think about that? He just shook his head and went inside, and only if only. When I was leaning up against that wall, I couldn't let him see this. But when I was leaning up against that wall, if only you knew how good that made me feel on the inside. Because I ain't going to lie, I must admit, as a big brother, it used to make me feel good to say, man, punch him in his mouth. I'm going to be honest. As a big brother, it used to make me feel good to say, Man, we don't tolerate that. If he say anything else to you, I want you to whap him. Come home and tell me about that. I must admit, it really did. But the feeling that I got to tell my little brother that his words have power and he can use his words and for him to come back and tell me that it worked, that feeling was much more powerful than him coming back and telling me he punched somebody in the mouth. It really was. And the only thing I can do, the only thing I can do is sit back and think about my first day of my senior year. I wouldn't have been able to teach my brother that skill if that first day wouldn't have happened. But if we go back even farther than that, I wouldn't be able to teach my little brother that skill if Ms. Porter went to learn it from Dr. Bailey. If we go back farther than that, I wouldn't be able to teach my little brother this skill if Dr. Bailey never came up with this concept. And you know what my little brother do now? DJ, guess what I told Austin? What? I told him, next time somebody messing with him, just tell him. And tell him what they want him to do, what he want him to do. I say, yeah. So, can you believe my little brother who in the fifth grade is not teaching his friend that his words have power? Who his friend gonna go along and teach his little brother his words have power? So now, can you believe I started a whole new trend? Everybody wanna say their words.